So a new study looked at the brains of astronauts, and researchers found some concerning mm -hmm. long-term side effects. Deva, what's space doing to the brain? Well, I got to tell you, you know, we, we know what happens to the body, right? You get right. taller in space and then yeah. you kind of shrink back down. And then you lose some muscle mass as well. But up until now, scientists didn't really know how being weightless impacted your brain. But indeed it does because it affects the pockets in the brain tissue, Russell, that serves the channel for fluids. And what it does is it makes those pockets bigger. And you say, well, what does that mean? Well, as we get older in general, those pockets can get bigger and sometimes they can lead to dementia down the road. So they're obviously very concerned that maybe going into space is kind of aging the brain. So what they did was they took 15 astronauts and they tested them. They had MRIs six months before their missions and then just before their missions and then four more after they returned. And then they compared those MRIs to those who stayed on Earth and never went. Here's what they found. They found that rookie astronauts showed the largest change, but returning astronauts showed no change in their brain. So what's happening is, is they're going up into space, and you can see it there, a little blue circle. You see how that little pocket is opening up a little bit more? Yeah. They're noticing with the rookie astronauts that it's opening, almost like aging. And then when they come back to Earth, it's either a permanent change or it's taking a very long time to go back to normal. So while they're in space, they do all their exercising and they're exercising physically for a couple of hours. So they're kind of wondering, well, maybe we need to start doing more mental exercises up there to help the brain as well. But if you think about it, it all makes sense, right? The human body has been evolving over thousands of years with gravity in mind. Right? We've been adjusting to gravity since the day we've been on this earth. So it stands to reason the body doesn't know what to do in zero gravity. So it's trying to adjust. And the more information we can get before we spend copious amounts of time in space, the better. But I'm thinking that maybe more mental exercises can help. Kind of if you were on earth and just your aging brain in general you could do more mental exercises that could help to keep it in shape. Uh, what they're worried about is, again, they're worried about the development of dementia early on in astronauts. However, I do have one study, and this was a cosmonaut back in the 80s and 90s, Valery Polakov. Oh, I think I mispronounced his name. It doesn't matter. Okay, so he volunteered to spend 437 consecutive days in space. He orbited the Earth 7,000 times, okay? And he's 80 years old mm -hmm. and not a problem wrong with him. So there are, there are people, there are astronauts who have been in space multiple times and they're not showing massive aging in their brain even though these little pockets are opening up. So I think it's just a matter of spending more time doing more studies, Russell, to see if it permanently affects the brain, if it ages you more rapidly. They're just not sure yet. But it's, it's a fascinating study. Yeah, it sure is. Okay. Okay.